In August, we told you about a problem with the heating and cooling system at the Harlan County Detention Center. Now the system is almost completely back up and running. WYMT's Caleb No followed up with jail staff today as they oversee the repairs and even spoke with an inmate who dealt with the heat. In the late summer months, inmates were dealing with less than ideal conditions. The air just started getting less and less cool. It just completely went down. It was miserable. He was just unbearable. Temperatures briefly rose above 90 degrees inside the jail, so deputies placed temporary cooling units throughout the building. The jailer says the issues with the old system run deep, but essentially stem from several heat pumps going out. It was 21 out of 42 down, and then they started working on them. When they got working on them, we had one more unit go down. Now, Burkhart says had his staff not been able to get the temperatures inside the jail back down to a reasonable temperature quickly, one of the first repercussions would have been the loss of state inmates, which would have costed the jail roughly the same amount per month, if not more, than it cost to fix the entire system. What the Department of Corrections deemed reasonable, considering the circumstances, was anything below 86 degrees. Pretty tense. There was a lot of aggravation and cussing going on. And a lot of people trying to get old DOC, crying about it and stuff. Jailer Burkhart says it was important to get the repairs finished before winter arrived. It would have been the heat, which would have been a, a lot harder problem to heat the, some kind of other source to heat the cells. But now temperatures have dropped 10 to 20 degrees throughout the jail. In Harlan County, Caleb No, WYMT Mountain News. In today's fiscal court meeting, Judge Executive Dan Mosley said around 80% of the repairs are complete.